hopefully it shows up guys but 43 42 so we'll call this the 4500 kilometer review of a 2019 can-am commander xt and it's basically bone stock the only aftermarket you're seeing is uh <clears throat> Is the blue halos but other than that she's pretty much stock so what's different from the 4500 kilometer review than the 2000 kilometer review well i've had some issues with the radiator um she plugged up pretty damn solid and it was overheating if you watched one of my last riding videos the second last riding video to now uh, I overheated so when I got back home I plugged I took the rat out and uh, it was pretty much plug solid there was one section in the middle where it wasn't plugged uh, and that's it so it's actually a miracle that it didn't uh, overheat sooner um, to access the rad is actually pretty straightforward so this here it just pops off this whole panel here it just pops right off and you can see in behind that's the rad right there okay so there's a panel on the other side and it's actually just four 10 mil fasteners that come off and it it actually comes out really easy so the engineers at rotax um they uh they actually thought that one through and uh made it easily serviceable so other than that uh, regular maintenance. I did one more oil change on it and regular greasing of the drive shafts and the A-arms and A-arm bushings, every other bushing, everything, you know, tiny bit of suspension noise, but that's it. Um, I, when I had the wheels off, I was checking for play in tie rods and wheel bearings, everything like that. And, uh, no issues they don't have any major complaints mechanically nothing has gone wrong uh so you've I, I if you watch my 2000 kilometer review video uh you would have heard when i was talking about how it was it slipped out of gear at one point okay so that hasn't happened again that was operator error that wasn't the machine having a problem that was my own fault if you're not an idiot on the machine and if you've watched my videos, you know they aren't easy trails that I'm riding. They're not. And nothing is broken yet, fingers crossed. Something is going to eventually break. My money's on either a tie rod getting bent or it's going to be an axle that snaps. That's my guess. Would I buy it again? Yeah, it's a good machine. I don't have any complaints. Now, one caveat to that is it's a great machine for what it's built to do which is be a work machine that can be used on the trail. Now, for the type of riding I do, would I buy a Can-Am Commander again? Uh, probably not. What would I buy instead? Well, probably a Can-Am Maverick Sport XXC is what I would buy instead because that is the machine that is uh, it, it's geared a little more towards what I what I, the style of riding I do so I would probably get that instead if you watch you know especially the rock crawling videos does the razor make it look easier yes but hey you know what my machine may get stuck a little bit more than the razor does but I still make it down the down the trails no problem I guess there's a, a quick uh, 4500 kilometer review of a 2019 Commander XT. Oh, belt. I keep remembering these things. Uh, it's still original belt. I haven't blown the belt. Allow me to knock on wood. I haven't blown the belt yet, so that's still good. Uh, I've changed the diff, diff fluids, both of them, once. I've changed the gearbox oil once. And uh, other than that, oh, brakes are, you know, the Can-Am brake, it's squeaky, but... Other than that, um, yeah, it's a great machine. So feel free. If you have any questions that I didn't touch on, uh, let me know in the comments. 
or uh, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. Don't forget to like the Commander Outdoors on Instagram. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, link up with me both one or one of those two ways. And um, make sure you stay tuned because in two weeks, we're going to have an absolutely epic ride coming up that uh, I'm hoping to get some awesome footage on. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. And I'm going to actually try in a, in a little bit later on this year, I'm going to try filming a night ride. And uh, I, I don't know how that's going to go, but it's it's if you watch the Hell's Trail video, it's going to be Hell's Trail at night, which I think will be fun. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, well, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the like button if this was helpful at all. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.